Hey, good afternoon, Manchester, New Hampshire, and all the surrounding areas, Exeter, Portsmouth, you name it. It's Portsmouth in New Hampshire, isn't it? It is. Uh, it it is. is. <laughs> yes. Oh. Not too far from here. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where that private school is, right? Phillips Exeter Academy. Yeah, You're thinking yeah. that's Exeter. Yeah. Yeah. That's where all that garbage was in the paper about. It was okay. a little garbage, yeah. <laughs> isn't, you know, isn't it sad? People, you know what I know? You and I, we did a lot of talking out there, and I think it's awesome that... You know, instead of promoting hate and bad, let's promote love and peace and understanding. You know, because yes. you're not accomplishing anything right. by having hate except for, you know. I, I love watching wrestling. Okay. I really do. Yeah. I mean, nothing. But yet I get thinking, I think, you know what? That's almost like, say, it's okay to do gang beatings. If you watch yeah. the wrestling on TV and they have three or four guys that are beating up on another guy, isn't that like promoting gay beating? If somebody, oh, well, they did it on TV, well, yeah. so why can't I do it? You know what but I'm saying? But it's considered saying? entertainment. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to have you introduce yourself, give yourself a, ba a little background. Okay, absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Dr. Michelle Dadamo. I'm the owner of the Dadamo Institute for Advancement of Natural Therapies located in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We're a 5,000 square foot uh, all natural health facility uh, started by the founder, Dr. James Dadamo, my father, the creator of the blood type diet. And so we are an internationally renowned clinic. We have people that fly in from all over the world to not only uh, have an examination by one of our, our doctors, but to try one of our many, gosh, it has to be 55 uh, all natural treatments that we carry. Many are exclusive to the clinic. Isn't that amazing? It and, is amazing. And, and it's, such know, a, it's such a joy. That's not going to say, it, and your dad loved what he did. Your mom did too. Both of them. Okay. For, and, for this, it was a calling. Yeah. And it was for you as well. I think. Yeah. By the way, your dad, oh, you, your dad is thanking me for having you come on the show. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and, Dad. You know, <laughs> and uh, you're actually kind of camera shy. I am. I am not an outgoing person. <laughs> I love it. I mean, all these people, oh, I'm shy and I can't. And so <laughs> the best part is I just tell people, be yourself. I can do that. You know, don't, you know, you don't have to go to the beauty pile and get an $1,800 hairstyle or whatever, you know, like the gentleman that just left here, if he came in with, you know, I don't care. Just yeah. come in and look decent, that's all, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. Everybody, you know, and the one thing that I do know yeah. is that, you want to tell yes. about your book and what you're doing? Yes, so uh, this is my father's book, Just an Ounce of Prevention is Worth a Pound of Cure. Uh, and he talks a lot about his work, his discovery of blood types and sub-blood types and uh, the types of foods people should eat as a result of their blood type for optimal health. Uh, it's his third book. And I've brought a few here for Norm's listeners, so or watchers. So if anyone would like to call in, if they're interested in a copy, if they have a question, I would love to hear from you and gift you a book. And if you know, we have a text number, not on my phone, but a text number, 785-18, uh, no, 1-6-8-4. 1-6-8-4, 785-1-6-8-4. And you have a text number and they can text you? If you're, or that I don't. You we have our telephone number, 603-430-7600. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or yeah. you can call us here at 640-3091, area code. And I have met many people who have actually visited your center. Yes. Well, we've been around for over half a century. Yeah, so, and honey, I, when I get around, I get around. They don't <laughs> want to be, but no. But, and this is what I like about my show. I, yeah. I, I like it because uh, people like you bring it in, let them know that, I mean, we need both types of meds. We need uh, natural meds, and yes. we also need uh, Western meds Absolutely. or whatever, you know. Yeah. And uh, the sad part with the, with the medications that they have so many that doctors, Right, sure. and I'm not, I'm, uh, believe me, I, I you know I appreciate the doctors, obviously. Yes. But they, uh, you have one medication that is combating with another one or this one mm. because they're practicing doctors, and you know, and 
um, the side effects that they have. The side effects are more scarier than the, the, the medication itself. Yes. If you listen to the TV shows, right? You know, yeah. It really <laughs> it's so scary to uh, say, "Oh my God, should I? I don't want to take this." You know, or I don't want to take that, you know, yeah. because of the side effects alone. Yeah. Now, in the work that you do, what would there be side effects? No. So, well, I don't want to say 100% no, right. because no. there's sometimes people are a little more sensitive to other things, you know, certain vitamins. But for the most part, no. Um, many people come to us because they don't want to be on medication. And uh, while we don't take people off of medication, we give them the vitamins and nutrients to support their body. Because what we're doing is we're locating what causes the problem. We're not so interested in treating the symptom. If we can find the cause, the weaknesses in the body and strengthen those weaknesses, then theoretically those symptoms should dissipate. And then you can go back to your doctor and Hopefully by then the doctor will say, hey, let's, there's no need for this. Let's take you off. Well, she used a big word, dissipate. <laughs> we get it really. My friend Laura, who used to be co-host with me, yeah. I used a big word. She said, you used a big word. You know, this is, <laughs> you know, this is what I like. I have a lot of fun. Because yeah. um, when you first came on the very first time, you were nervous as hell. So well, nervous. But look at you today, it's wonderful. I could run the show now, Norm. All right, I'll remember okay. that when I take a day <laughs> off. How about that? You're ready to do that, okay. right? Okay. But, okay, now, do you, do you do offer massages? We do have a massage therapist, okay. um, but that's not really our primary focus. Okay. Our primary focus is to offer services that you can't get anywhere else. Massages, chiropractic, those sort of things, yes, you can get them pretty much in every town. Right. But what we've done is combined all these treatments from Europe, um, all this research from Europe and from Asia, from all over, uh, and created a one-of-a-kind health facility. In fact, I don't even think there's any other place in the world that does what we do. And that's why you're so popular. That I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, and it didn't, and I, I have to ask you, and it did yeah. not come overnight. Certainly not. My father worked very hard, especially in a time when naturopathy, natural health care was not given the credit that it is now. And so it was a very tough road for him, but he really stuck to it because he knew it worked. He advocated. He, he lobbied for naturopathic licensure. He was really invested. This was his baby. Um, and now that I've taken over the clinic, have experienced people get better, uh, I can understand why he was so driven. If you see something that works, you're going to do anything you can to help other people continue on that onward, upward path of optimal health. And, and that's what I like about what I do. You know, I do I reading? Really, yeah. But I also do a lot of what I like to call spiritual counseling. Right. Okay. Because when we see... Like when you see the results of some, we'll yes. say some lady who's coming in with a walker and he, oh, I can't do that at all. Mm -hmm. And then you are there and you, you, and you, your people, your therapist or yes. whatever, they, and you see the improvement yes. that comes through that. This is so awesome. Yes. Okay. And I just cannot tell you what an, uh, enough, what an honor and pleasure it is to have someone like yourself coming on the show. Thank I was going to have Dr. Jody McDonald. She's a natural herbalist. Okay, yeah. But unfortunately, she's got clients, so I can't stop. Going to make money today, you know. <laughs> Marvelous person. She's been yeah. on the show. And she's another one who uh, takes the time to mm. study, takes the time. And you know what? Of course, we all like to make money, let's be honest, you know. Well, you got to eat. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, and I'll have people say, well, how can you charge for what you do? And I'll say to them, you're a nurse. How can you charge for what you do? Mm -hmm. You know, I count my money this way, and I mm -hmm. cry this way. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and I actually look at one of your sons actually following your path. That would be lovely. Okay. But that's a tough road, yeah, and it as is. you know, when you work with people in that healing capacity. Oh yeah, you have. You have, you know, have and like I was telling you, I had a, a person come in a couple of weeks ago, and man, I I I, I finally got through. Yeah. You know, and I. 
I, and uh, when you do that, that's when the rewarding part, so, or when people call, like the gentleman just left to you, yes. when you talk about that. Isn't that what makes it all worthwhile? A thousand percent. Okay. And there are going to be some people, oh, it doesn't work, or sure. you didn't do it. You know, I don't expect a hundred, hundred, hundred percent. Yeah. You know, but maybe they're right. Maybe they're, you might, maybe something that I might have said that might disturb them, or maybe, you know, that's yeah. something that you, you know, and we learn from them. Absolutely. You know? And yeah. just because people aren't ready now doesn't mean that they're not ready no. 10, 20, yeah. 30 years ago. Yeah. You know, I, I do get calls of people that say, you know, 25 years ago I saw your father lecture. It was a great lecture, but I really wasn't ready. That was 25 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, now I'm ready. And so y you have to, it has to be in, on your time. Yeah. when you're invested, right? And we talked a little bit about this before yeah. I came on the show, yeah. that naturopathy and the work that you do is not a quick fix. It's, um, it's not a pharmaceutical pill. Nature works very slowly, and so uh, it, it takes time, and so you have to be invested, you have to be responsible, you have to be disciplined, and so you should, right? Because your Absolutely. body is the only place you have to live. Well, and the I have power you say it? the body is your temple? It, it is, and absolutely. It is, you know, and, you know, if you choose to do the drugs and destroy, it's your choice. Absolutely. If you yes. choose to, you know, I will never condemn anybody for what they do in their life. No. If they want to choose a drug, if they want to smoke cigarettes, or that's if they right. want to do the alcohol, that's their choices. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you, because I've been there, not the drug yeah. part, but I've been with the alcohol and the cigarettes. And it's not up to me to say, oh my God, what are you, I'll kid around with people and say, what are you doing, smoking or whatever. Sure. And then I'll tell my story about being hypnotized, you know, for cigarette smoking. Mm -hmm. And actually, my friend, my friend that went, actually my co-host here, he sat there and I said, here, oh my God, that's what I, what's that? Or at least I thought it was, because you know, the camera makes you a little more. And I'm laying there and I said, oh my God, I look like a baby whale, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, but the, uh, the thing is, you, when I hear people say, I can't stop smoking, or I can't stop drinking, or I can't mm -hmm. stop doing drugs, you can do it. Sabotage is a pretty strong energy within yeah. us yeah. that, um, you know, it's just they, they can't do it maybe at that moment, moment or they're they not willing to well, do you know, it. Well, you know, first time I thought about doing it with, in, a different, in the studio, but a different studio, instead I ended up doing a past life regression. That was mm -hmm. cool. But then I said, you know what, I've had enough, you know. That's, yeah, and that's what And always was. remember, when you're under hypnosis, you are still in control. Yes, oh, that's absolutely. You know, people think that, oh, no, but you were Right, yeah. I, you know, and this is why I have a hard time see, when I, people say, well, I'm a, I hip, got hypnotized so he's such a salt in me or, or she did this. And I'm sorry, I have a hard time buying that because there again, yes, you're under. Yeah. But you also are still in self-control. Yes. When I was doing the past life regression, mm -hmm. I said, okay, I've had enough of time to come back. You know, mm. but when I did the cigarette, oh my God, I guess, I, it's on TV, I could see my belly like this, you know, I mean, like I was in the heaven, you know, sound, asleep, I was so relaxed. But that's it, when you go, like when I wouldn't have my surgery done, because, you know, we need the surgeons too. Absolutely. You know? And I wouldn't want a positive attitude. Yeah. When you go anywhere, I don't care how sick you are, you gotta believe, you gotta believe. Like my friend, uh, Marvin email who you're sending the book to. He is, uh, has cancer. I said, you know what? You're going to beat this. Mm -hmm. And we're going to help you believe in this. Mm -hmm. You know? And then I had a friend of mine last week that passed over to the other side. Great friend, Jim Delani. And uh, following my show every week for 20, imagine that for 20 years ago. Every, mm -hmm. Super great friend, supported mm -hmm. whenever I did. And now we know he's up watching the show from above, you know? Did you have an art that was also connected with your institute? Yes. Ah, oh, Norm, you're so good. <laughs> she so, is so happy that you guys are carrying on the name. So, well, <sighs> yes. So my father's sister yeah. uh, is a, uh, was a registered nurse. She's still with us, but she's no longer practicing. And uh, she, was, she worked in my dad's clinic in Brooklyn. 
and uh, she ran it there. And, and she was very invested, her family, all the kids work there in the clinic. All of us, we all work there as, as kids. So it was like a family, like it, the Italians, the Italian tradition. It, it was almost like a family yeah. business, yeah. yeah. Because we all believed in my father's work. And, that, and that's the key to healing. Believe. The intention, yes. Yeah. You know, and that's like, I got scared at first when they told me I had that disease that I have. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, I'm not going to have it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to allow it to intercede into my body the way it was. Mm -hmm. So I call myself the one breast of wonder. Yeah. Because I only have that one. But you know what? It is a miracle. It is a yeah. wonder. And I don't, you it know, I, every, every sickness that I, I'm diabetic, but, I, but you know what? That's okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's teaching me how to understand what other people have to go through in some kind of a sickness. Mm -hmm. When I was blind, um, I, I appreciated that as well. Because it teaches us how to appreciate what other people have. But don't be, in other words, don't uh, hold their hand and uh, just encourage them to get better. You can have compassion yeah. and empathy, but you don't have to enable. Oh, no, and that's what I was famous for. Yeah. You know? And when I started getting sober, my counselor did not enable me. Trust me, he told me like it Good. was. Well, yeah. that's well, that's what you, you, you you're, you're, you know, what do you call it, worker, clinicianers? Uh, yeah, I'm a psychotherapist. Yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you, uh, you're a doctor, right? Yes, I have okay. a PhD in health psychology. Okay. So when you work with them, you don't hold their hand. Um, I, I do sometimes because you know, moving especially from the traditional medical model right. into yeah. this can be really yeah. scary, yeah. and so sometimes that's what they need. And then sometimes it's, you know, I feel like I channel my father a little bit and like the Brooklyn accent comes out and I just have to be like, suck it up, buttercup. This is what you need to do. Um, because for those people, holding their hand is only going to enable them to continue to make choices that aren't healthy for them. And if my role in the clinic is to help you feel better, that's what I'm gonna do. And so, uh, and a lot of people have noticed that, like when I do the readings of my friend Lynn's uh, uh, spiritual wisdom, I call it, beautiful person, beautiful mm -hmm. reader, love her pictures. And she and I both say that, and I, I agree with you, is that I'm not going to give them what they want to hear. I need mm -hmm. to give them what they need to hear and how they can improve. Right, but always with the intention as the reader that it comes from a good place. Right. That is not meant yeah. to be mean or harmful, but it oh, truly from from <laughs> no, it, it truly comes from yeah. love. It truly comes from love. Yeah, and, and it is. And I think when you're a straight shooter, but it comes from that place of compassion and love and empathy, people pick up on that and they appreciate that. And <clears throat> you know, the one thing that I, I I go through and I read a lot of the different prices that people have. I, I don't ever intend to raise my prices mm. for what I get, you know. Um, I can't tell you in the air, but, you know, and of that's course. okay. But you know what? I'm happy at what I do. By the way, you have a website? I do. So our website is www.dadamoinstitute.com. Now, the Dadamo can be a little tricky, so I always say dada, D-A-D-A-M-O, institute.com. On there, we have all lists of our services, uh, our examinations, a little bit of history, some videos. It's, it's a big website, but uh, it's very informational, and I think I think your listeners and watchers would really enjoy it. And I, I, I checked it out, and it's awesome. Did you? Oh, yeah, thank I you. Sure I sure did, yeah. And folks, it's worth your while. If you want a book, and trust me, most books cost money. She is willing to... Text, give her a text, yeah. and her address, we'll write it down to Scott Kissy, he'll write it down, pass it on to you, and we'll be very happy to mail you out one. Yeah. Or if you want to come into the studio, we'll pick one up. That would that, be great. Yeah, one of the gentlemen, you gave him one I in the did. studio. I did, yes, he asked me to autograph it, yeah. which I thought was very kind. Isn't that but cool? Yes, yes. You know. I'm glad and, I can uh, continue yeah. to work. This is what, you know, this is what I like about public access TV, like we have here in mm. Manchester. Mm-hmm. And the reason I like it is because we are free without control 
I'm so, so sure. There are some things, obviously, you can't say, like, I can't tell prices, and that's okay. Sure. And, you, and you can't use a four-letter word, so I have to catch myself, you know, and stuff <laughs> like that. But I will not allow anybody to call in and say something bad about somebody else. I, it's I, not I don't, necessary. No. no. If you don't like me, okay, tell me that. If you don't believe what I do, that's okay, too. But be kind, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Name calling yes. doesn't go anywhere. Just be a good human too. being. Good yeah. human being. That's yeah. all. Yeah. And this is what you do. When you go to bed at night, you're exhausted, but so you're tired. sleep comfortable. I do, because at the end of the day, I feel like I, I've, I've done something worthwhile. Yeah. When you, you, know, you bring your work home with you. Well, yeah, on the weekends I do. I do. <laughs> and, at, and at night, and I'm up late. But um, when you love it, it's not work. No. It really isn't. No. Such I do gift. readings a lot of times at midnight. Wow. Yeah. People are up that late. Yeah. Or is it because yeah. of time difference? Well, there's sometimes a time difference. Sure. Like yeah. Do it from Hawaii yeah. or from Cal. I am like you are. We're both internationally known. Yeah. But it doesn't come. People, it doesn't come overnight. And I don't expect everybody's going to agree with me. I don't expect everybody's going to like me. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. And it used to be when I had my ego, how dare they, you know what I'm saying, you know? But it's okay, you know? I give you what I have and what I don't have, and I can't give it to you. And if I, and I, if I can't do a reading on someone, I'll be very honest with them and tell them. Has that happened where? Very seldom. Yeah. If I feel it like, if I feel like if someone is very nervous about coming in the office for a reading, yeah. and, that, and they are very uncomfortable, I'll send it to somebody else. Because I don't want any client to come in and feel uncomfortable. I want right. them to be comfortable. Right. Has so is there any other reason why you may not be able to get a good read on someone? Usually, uh, no. No. Yeah, well, yeah. it depends. On, no, I can. I, Ninety-nine point ninety-nine percent, I can do the reading. Sometimes it takes a while because a lot of the time they have this wall around. The anxiety, them, you know, right? Around. Yeah. Around. Anxiety. Yeah. I'm like. Uh, and like that gentleman I said before, it took me a while. I said, Come bring down the wall, bring mm. down the wall. I promise you, I'm not going to hurt you. Right. Okay. And um, yes. finally, we were able to get through. I love what I like doing is the mediumship work. Yeah. I like talking to the people that have crossed over. I have to tell you, your mother's mother is so proud of you and her. Oh. Okay. There's Thank some you. kind of a brag dog. I'm not sure if it's a. I'm seeing a gray colored dog that has passed over. Hmm. I'm not thinking of one right now, hmm. but. It was yeah. on your grandmother's side. Okay. okay. I will have to ask my And it looked mother. like it was a poodle. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, on my father's side, he had a, a poodle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what was. Bonjour was the poodle's name yeah. in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. <laughs> Poodles are very temperamental. Yeah, they're very stubborn. Oh, yeah. So my stubborn. granddaughter, hi, Selena, my, I'm a precious granddaughter. Who, uh, uh, how old? Oh, uh, she's 22 now. Wow. She's studying to be a surgeon tech. Fantastic. You know, we, well, her growing up, she went through a lot of emotional problems, but she is doing really well now. Mm -hmm. She has a gentleman that she and her love each other just bought a house. And Wonderful. when I see problems like that, I always say, Thank goodness they didn't get into the drugs, mm. you know, and that's what makes it all worthwhile, mm -hmm. you know. Like when your children are going to be very successful. They're both musicians, right? Uh, they both do like music, yes. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. they do dabble on and off. Yeah, because one of them, one plays the guitar, right? Yes, yeah. yeah I actually look at him joining some kind of a sympathy. sympathy. Interesting, yeah. huh? He's pretty sharp when it comes to music. But, yeah. Yeah, he really is. Yeah. They're both coming into their own. It's yeah. it's such a privilege to watch them grow and it's, to support them and yeah. the things that, that Don't allow them, them to be lazy. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot teenagers. of times, is it really, you know, a lot of times when I hear these children, like when my foster father, if I didn't, if I didn't have an A, I was punished. Mm. And I get to the point where I just didn't care because... You know, oh, I'm sorry. Not every ch well, I, unfortunately, I graduated to school, but not you know, not every child is meant to go to college. Right. They have great right. trade schools or yes. what do you call them, community colleges. Yes. Not everybody. Heck, a lot of the workers that work on like garbage 
mm -hmm. men and all that. They make more money than a lot of people that go to college, actually. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I don't think you have to worry about that with your sons. Well, and again, it goes back to just be good humans. That's, that's all. That's all you think a lot of the healing that we have is by being good and treating others with respect and love. Yes. That's the biggest healer. Or you can walk around and say, I don't like you, and I don't feel good, so I don't have to like you, you know, with all that. And that's so sad. We see a lot of patients like that, I think, because, you know, they've had maybe negative experiences in the, the whatever uh, chosen medical discipline they were in. And uh, they're frustrated and they're tired and they're exhausted. And so sometimes by the time they come to me, it's like we're the last hope. And so you get a very defeated and depleted and sometimes negative uh, person. And, and that's because of their, their experience coming in. And so to go back to your point before, when you can get that trust, when they're ready to, to receive the information and take it and do something with it, because doctors can scream to the, at the rooftops what you need to do. But unless you do it, right, unless you do the work, you're not going to see the benefit. Oh. But once they see the benefit and they start having that trust, my gosh, totally different person. Well, that's like what they to told me I couldn't go out and mow my lawn anymore. You have to get a plan and you could have to wait till my my uh, healing. Oh, right, from the surgery. I didn't sure. even bother with it. I went out three days later, so I'm mowing the lawn. So the kid, I said, no you arm. know what? I am not going to sit there and do nothing. <laughs> and I feel fine, you know. And... Uh, I, uh, and then I, when I walk, I love walking. Mm. And uh, so I still do my morning walk. But it's at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock in the morning. Peaceful. It's the best time to go. I, I recommend that to everybody. Yeah. Don't be afraid to walk. Oh, there's a lady. I hope you're watching. I forgot her first name, too, but that's okay. I am so proud of her. She's lost 24 pounds. Oh, well done. She was there very, very well. Very, shall we say, pleasingly. Pump lady. Okay. And she's walking every day, and I always talk about her, and I tell her, you know, watching her walk with that smile, it's worth it. Yeah. You yeah, know? and she feels great. And she feels great about Wonderful. it. Wonderful. You know, and, you know, and she says, see, I can do that little, I go, awesome, <laughs> you know, and, and this is what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if we just take care of each other. That's right. That's so right. your business, believe me, when I, I, you know, I told you I see you building a, uh, going, uh, another outlet, uh, mm -hmm. whatever you want to, and right? I can see yeah. that happening, okay, because you guys are going to be very, very busy. We, I, okay, I mean, I'm people ready to receive. Of, <laughs> yeah, people, I think, are getting tired of the medical force yeah. and the costs that are re remaining with it, and, uh, oh, do you want to go to Ireland? Sure. We going? Yes, you are. Are we going to do a, a Norm's Community Corner in Ireland? Hey, there you go. We'll do right. that. I'll have you call me. You know, like but that. no, I actually see you and your husband going to Ireland. I would love to go that's to what, Ireland. Like an educational type I thing. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. And your kids are going to be tagging along. I think. You know. <laughs> Good for them. Good thing I like them. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, Mom, you got to cut the apron strings when they're ready. I have to do what? Cut the apron strings. Oh, yes. That's for another conversation, Norm. They're 11 <laughs> and 14. I'm not cutting apron strings just yet. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, your, your oldest one is pretty independent now, right? He is. Well, your youngest one is pretty independent, But too. they love their mama. Oh, of course. <laughs> they know. Yeah. But the one thing that they, they, had, they, oh, they love their Grammy, don't they? Oh, they love her so and, much. And your, now your husband's mother yes, is still around. Still they around. See her. They love her, too. And you get along great with your mother-in-law, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. That's as usual. The, is it really? Yeah. Although I'm a I love good daughter-in-law. Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> all my ex-wives, I got along better with my ex-wife's mother than I do with my wife. So I can, <laughs> but... You know, life, I, I love to hear people say, love, life is what you make it. Mm. I'm not sure if it's really that way. Because they'll say, well, I didn't ask to be sick. Or mm -hmm. I didn't ask for this. But you allowed it to happen. Mm. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, there's, there's an element of, of when you're abusive to your body, there's consequences. And that I yeah. was. I thought I was infallible. Mm. Okay. I can do this, I can do that, but guess what? I wasn't at all. And I really believe the reason when the cancer that came out of my breast was because I used to carry my cell phone in my pocket, 
and the radiation from the cell phone. I see. Because people okay. are getting hotter and hotter. And I mm -hmm. honestly believe that was one of the biggest uh, perpetrators mm -hmm. that they had in their kids. Plus, I inherited it, but still, <coughs> eat healthy, folks. Yes. Okay. Yes. Small you know. changes can really make a big difference mm -hmm. over time. One thing I have found is that if we, a lot of times, our bodies will say we need to have red meat. Mm -hmm. Our bodies will crave with the ones ever in there, whether it's the iron or, or it's mm -hmm. spinach or turkey. Our bodies are going to tell you, this is what I need. This, and I suggest that you follow your body. Well, you know, that's an interesting concept because I agree. A lot of times our bodies tell us. A healthy body can tell you, but if a body is not healthy, it's going to give you inaccurate information. Right. And so some people say, well, my body's telling me I'm craving sugar. My body's telling me I'm craving caffeine. Nah, that's not a healthy body. There's something off chemically. There may be something going on with your pancreas. There may be something going on with your, your blood sugar, hypoglycemia. So always look at that too. I started out with hyperglycemic, then ended up turning it. Diabetes. Because there again, I thought, oh, I'm invincible, you know, I can mm -hmm. do this, I can do that. And the doctor kept saying, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. No, 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 what do they do? I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. And guess what? But now I am, but it's, but it's never too late. It's never too late. And you know, an interesting thing, Norm, <laughs> is um, if you've ever gone to an AA meeting. Oh yeah. And you look when people are making their coffee, how much sugar they put in their coffee, right? Okay, but why is that? So they're basically replacing the sugar that's coming from the alcohol yeah. and soda, adding the sugar to the coffee. So there's a, a pancreas weakness yeah. there. There's a hypoglycemia. Yeah. Yeah. And so for people that are in recovery, yeah. one of the biggest things I can advocate for is get off the sugar. Yeah. Let's well, yeah. let's manage that blood sugar so that it also manages your mood. Oh yeah, when I was going to the AA meetings, mm -hmm. I'd go and cup of coffee with a sugar, uh, cream, mm -hmm. and my cigarette. And, cigarette. and a cigarette, <laughs> you know, and they were all sudden. Sure. I never realized, you know, AA is a great program. Absolutely. I will never, but it wasn't for me. Okay. Okay. It really wasn't. Yeah. And plus, where I still smoke my homemade cigarette, I can't go to AA and be, because that would be hypocritical as far as I'm concerned, yeah. you know. Okay. But um, I know a lot of people, I have some very, very dear friends who've been in AA for yeah. 35 years and they're growing. They don't miss a meeting and that's up to them. Yeah. And then, you know, it is, uh, I follow a lot of the AA philosophy. Uh, philosophy. Yeah. Me too tonight stuff or yeah. make up. Oh my God, I had to make amends with four churches in the in Laconia. I had to, you know, I wrote a letter four and paid them all. Four churches. Yeah, I scrammed money out of them, so Ooh. I had to pay it all back. Well, you good know, for you good for taking way. responsibility yeah. and accepting well, that and yeah. doing something about One it. One thing that I don't like hearing, I don't care whether it's AA or whatever, is, oh, I had a headache or um, when I was three. Uh, Alcohol made me go behind the wheel and get into a car accident. Mm. No, you knew what you were doing before. Mm. And, or what I'll have, hear somebody say, well, um, I haven't drank in five years and I made a mistake in drink, but we knew what we were doing. Never. That's like when they come to your office and they get help from you and you get you tell them like it's that. Because mm. you know, none of your clinical workers um, sugarcoat it. You tell it like it's that. We but I mean, too. with a gentle way. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You, know, yes. you won't tolerate it the other way. Yeah, I'm the okay. tougher one. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, you know, oh, I forgot to do that. No, you didn't want to do it. Yeah. You yeah. Know, and, that, and so, but that's that's a really good learning moment yeah. right there. Because, okay, you didn't want to do that. You're sabotaging for some reason. So let's think, well, and, and that's where my role comes in, right? That's where I kind of jump in and say, well, what's causing you not to choose health? What's causing you not to, to better yourself? What happened that's sort of triggering this, this defiance? I mean, you came to us, right? So that's one of the great things that I really value about uh, my clinic is that, yes, we have the physical piece, and then we also include the mental piece. Big component when you're doing a lifestyle change and not to mention when you come in maybe with an illness, what that brings with it and, and working through that. 
What is your typical uh, or more, uh, type of client that comes in? What is the biggest disease that they come in with? Wow, that's tough. Because I think at last count, there were 70,000 patients we've seen uh, walk through our door. Um, we have a very small, which is sad to say, a small percentage of people who are interested in prevention. Okay, I, I want to make sure that I'm eating well so that in my later years, I don't have to rely on a walker. Or I, I can be independent, use you know, almost like an insurance policy, yeah. right? So very small percentage was that. Uh, we see a lot of people with cancer, a lot of people with digestive or, oh, big, big now, autoimmune and inflammation has blown up and mostly stress-induced illnesses since COVID. That's, that's really taken over for a lot of people and have caused a tremendous amount of like IBS and Crohn's and, and not to say it wasn't there before, but stress certainly didn't help. No. Uh, so we're, we're seeing a, quite a bit of that now. Well, yeah. One, one of the things that people have got to realize that there are so many shots out there that you can put into your body, the shingles, the colder shots, the flu shots, the kidney shots now, or um, all these things that they, they put all these chemicals into your mm -hmm. bodies. Mm -hmm. You know, haven't you, you know, and I'm sorry, I don't agree with all of them. And I, I refuse to take the flu shots. Mm -hmm. I refuse to take the, uh, the COVID shot, but mm -hmm. it's my choice. Mm -hmm. And um, it's sad that people cannot be allowed to not go into a restaurant or into mm -hmm. a government building unless they have their shots. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's communist control as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Okay. And I mean, I'm not going to tell anyone they can't do sure. it. I mean, obviously, yeah. I have to let, you know, yeah. it's a decision that you, you we have to make. Yeah. My son had, and my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter had the COVID. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I truly do not believe it goes all the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really don't, even though my son still has symptoms of it. And it's, yes, you know. we're seeing that quite a bit now, too. So when we reopened, because um, we had to shut down for a little bit with COVID, uh, we started seeing a whole new level of clientele of people who had COVID maybe six, nine months ago and are still experiencing uh, what they call long hauler right. symptoms. Yeah. Again, all inflammation symptoms right yeah. and so those patients seem to do do really well coming to us because we have so much to support the immune system and support strengthening what's involved in in sort of getting that that uh, squashing that inflammation and the one thing about you, you, your clinicians you know, your workers you know, you know, they actually enjoy what they do yes because if they don't you're not going to keep them around you no, know, we don't have time for no, it. No, we okay. don't have time for that. That's nothing wrong with making money. Let's be honest, you know. But I mean, you need to be doing to it for the money. right reasons. Right, right, you know. And like I said, I do see you uh, expanding. Mm -hmm. Now, you own, your, your mother owns the building, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, now she owns two buildings? We both own, we both own the buildings, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Oh, she let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, <laughs> she was such a delight to talk She's to. She's a she good really, person. But I see you buying another building. Fantastic. Okay. Because you really are improving. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now your prices, I don't know what they are, not going to ask you to no. one here, no. but your prices are affordable. Let's put it that way. I do try very hard. Do they do have that. Does your does insurance accept that? Uh, well, it depends what insurance. Yeah, we don't bill go. insurance yeah. because if we build insurance, we'd actually have to increase our prices right. just to have someone bill your insurance. Um, we, I try very hard, and this was even before COVID, to uh, keep costs down as much as possible. So at the very least, if someone could only afford to do uh, one of our like three hour new patient appointments, they could at least get the information about what it is they needed to do for their health. Um, if they couldn't afford to do the treatments, if they can't afford to do the vitamins, that's fine. But at the very least, find out what's causing the symptoms then you can take that information and make informed health decisions, whether you want to go the medical avenue or the, the naturopathic avenue or do both. But you need to know what you're working with. A diagnosis only tells you so much. 
And one of the things that, you know, and the, you know, and that's it. You need both the medical doctors. Like, he obviously, you don't heal broken legs. No. Or you don't, you know, or, or whatever. But I have things to make it faster, heal faster. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and uh, there was just some things that the doctors, I, I, I attach and talk to several that are actually coming around to the natural way of doing things instead of doing uh, all the medication, they're doing the na the, the natural, the vitamins and all mm -hmm. that stuff. And so I think that people are beginning to realize, let's face it, back in the old country western days, they didn't have all these... What came before medicine? You know. Naturopathy. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And I like watching like Gunsmoke or I like watching all these doctors uh, yeah. way back in the west. And, and it makes you realize that the drug business is a multi, multi billion dollar industry. Yes, yes, it is. And, and because I have a one lady who was on one certain medication, mm -hmm. and for ever since she was like in her 40s, and now she's like in her 80s, mm -hmm. and she will not change it. She'll take, you know, and it has to be the storm brand. Okay. And uh, she, her body has become so dependent on that medication mm -hmm. and I said that I said you can't do that because your body needs to heal mm -hmm. but when you think of 40 or 50 years on that one medication mm -hmm. after a while it's not going to be productive it's mm -hmm. not going to be helping other people where if they use the alternative way of doing things <coughs> they I think you'll agree with, we do not heal we help you to heal I like it when people say, oh, I'm a healer. No, you're a tool that helps people to heal. Don't you, don't yes, you agree? Yes, absolutely. My father was a very big proponent of that. He even said the work of the blood type diet wasn't his, that he was just a conduit uh, to the, the, the information was out there. He right. just pieced it together and presented it to the world. But he always felt that the work of uh, the blood type diet was, was nature. And so he never healed. He always said, I never healed uh, anyone ever in my life. The patient does that. Yeah, I, I can remember, I used to, you're going to laugh at this one. I can remember I used to walk to this Born Again Christian group. Mm -hmm. We would go, my ex wife and I, we'd go to these tent meetings, revival meetings. Okay. Oh, God is healing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I make myself go into a kiddie, like a, you know. Yeah. And then finally one day I'd had enough, and, I, <laughs> and I'd been kidding around, and I said, You know what? I'm a good actor, aren't I? And they go, Why, brother? Aren't you healed? I go, No. And I said, First of all, that kidney that you saw, was for entertainment, mm. and I walked out. We can heal. I'm not saying God doesn't heal. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that at all, folks. Never. But the person cannot do that. Mm -hmm. You can be a tool, like mm -hmm. your your institute is. Yeah. I'm a tool. Hopefully, would make it feel better in mm -hmm. counseling or when I do the readings and stuff. Yeah. We're all tools of the universe. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I call it the universal yeah. spirit. Okay. And I think that's very important that yes. we all turn, you yeah. know, to that. And if we could, you know, if we could listen to ourselves, mm -hmm. we could help get rid of the hate. Mm -hmm. Shuffle. Oh, we're going to do a reading. Sure. Would you like one? Wow. I'm not going to say no to a norm <laughs> reading. I'm not sure. <laughs> And uh, once again, your website and what you do. The website is dadamoinstitute.com. That's dada, D-A-D-A-M-O, institute.com. Our telephone number is 603-430-7600. We're located in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We're a 5,000 square foot alternative uh, medical provider. Um, we provide alternative medicine for a variety of um, issues, and sometimes not. Sometimes people want to want to just be focused on preventative health or know what it is that they should be eating for optimal health. And uh, I'm really excited to be on this show. And thank I'm you excited for to have you. Yeah, oh, you'll be back on again. Back. You know, but <laughs> that's my that's that to you. My website is spiritualvisionary.net. My phone number is 603-289. 4789. My email is 
Psychic Vision by Norm at Comcast.net. And what's your email? Info at DadamoInstitute.com. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. We met through the internet. Yeah. Your, you know, see, that's how I get a lot of my guests that come on here, okay? Because the one thing I will tell them, and I'm going to tell you, I am not the star. I'm only the host. You are the star. The, the people that are watching this show are the stars. Mm -hmm. And I had, believe me, I had my ego out here when I first started out. And one day the spirit said, who the hell do you think you are? Because I mean, I wouldn't talk to people. I, I wouldn't be this permanent. Wow. Oh yeah. And I had a rude awakening and I'm glad I did. Mm. So people were afraid to come on my show. And oh. I never watched. That's how bad it was. You know, because I would steal the show away. I had to. I would not sit with other readers. Mm. I would not. I did psychic events, but I had to be real. But you know what? Everybody's important. Yes. Even a, a homeless person that's outside. If I could help, or I love going out and saying, hi, how are you? And how are you doing? What's happening? Or whatever. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to be able to encourage them because I've been homeless. I've been there, you know. Mm -hmm. And whether it's fault of their own or not, you know, we can improve. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. You eat fish? I do eat fish. Not shellfish, but I do no, eat fish. No, but you like haddock? And oh, all. I love haddock. Yeah. I don't like octopus. It can be very gummy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Plus, I think of the poor uh, octopus is there <laughs> later. Yeah. Well, you know, but I do like haddock. I'm going to have you take out five cards. Okay. I'll look at them. I won't. Okay. Your dad is smiling. He was a handsome man. That would have been a good looking was smile. Was he tall? He was very tall. Six foot two. Okay. And he had, he had a, he, he had a little pot belly, not a big one. Uh, varying stages of his life. Yeah. yeah but pretty much a, a he slender guy. He loved your mother's cooking. Well, everybody loves Crystal's cooking. She's an amazing cook. Yeah. He likes yours, but you're not as good as him. It's true. It's Sorry true. I know. But you're not I, domesticated I, okay. either. You know? <laughs> it's, but it's true. Yeah, he's <laughs> laughing. He says, uh, but he also <laughs> wanted to tell you, he liked a chocolate cake. He did not. He did he not like not chocolate cake? He was not a chocolate cake, cake person. Oh, he wasn't even is. a cake person. Oh, okay. And then he said about chocolate cake. Okay. Well, hmm. let's scratch that out. Yeah. That one, yeah. Okay. Maybe his mom? Yeah, could be, yeah, okay. Because there's chocolate all around there. Okay. His mom. But he had a hearty appetite. Yes. But he also was very strict at what he ate. Yes, he was. I, he practiced what he preached. And, and you're so the same does way. my mom. Yeah, and you're the you same know? way. She, um, so. oh. <laughs> Welcome to the North Community Corner. Hello? Lord. Yes. How's it going, man? It's going very well. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic. That's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what can we do for you today? Oh, well, I was just calling to say hi, and uh, I've been appreciating what you've been doing and what you guys have been talking about. So I'm just calling to say hi and see if you had anything to share. Well, one of the things I do share with you is I like your upbeat personality. Yeah. Okay. And you're not afraid to take on challenges. Okay. Even though the money not always come out the way you want, but you're not afraid to take out cha challenges. Am I correct? You got that right. Okay. Do you like to travel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love traveling. Are you ready to do some traveling? I would like to do some traveling. Okay. Think positive. Think that you're going to do it. One thing I see about your body is I don't see any cancer around there. Well, that's good. Okay. Do I see you with a good sense of humor? Yeah. But when you feel sorry for yourself, you can really get out on a pity pot, can't you? Yeah, I can. Yeah. But you're doing a lot better. One of the things financially... You're going to do okay. Don't worry so much. It'll come out. Everything will, for you will come out okay. All right. All right. Did I just talk to you I a little while ago? I don't think so, Norman. That last time we talked, I was on your show. Oh. Who was this? 
This is Travis Preston. Oh, Travis. I didn't recognize your voice, Travis. The, fi the firewalker. All right. Travis is also uh, uh, a very healthy person himself. Wonderful. Yeah. And you want to tell them who you are and what you do, Travis? Uh, I, sure. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Travis Preston, and uh, I hail from Rochester a little ways away, and I'm a shamanic practitioner and a firewalk instructor and trainer. Fantastic. Now, uh, now are you in, wow. still in a relationship? No, I'm not. Are you ready for one? <laughs> well, I don't keep doors closed, but I'm not actively looking. And it's going to come when you least expect it. It always <laughs> does, right? Okay. It yeah. always does. Yeah. And the one thing, the next one you have, and we're gonna, uh, I'm going to get a hold of you have you come back on the show. What do you think? Yeah, it sounds great. Okay. One of the things that I do see, I don't know what's in Oklahoma, I'll be honest with you, but I do see you going to Oklahoma. Oklahoma, huh? Yep. You're going to be among the natives right. in there. Okay. I'm going to be what? Among the natives in there. You're, they're going to teach you more things about the spiritual walking that you do, and you're also going to be teaching them some of the walking that you do with the fire. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Yeah. That so, and that would, I, be, would and, be beautiful. Yeah, and, when I, and I do see, one of the things I see about you, health-wise, I do see a lot of good healing coming in, into your body that's going to be for the better. Mm. Okay. I'll take all of that. I've started eating healthier and started exercising more, so okay. a lot of that's been uh, coming in in a good way. Okay. And that I, I, I can believe, too, because that, I had that after I got through my surgery and all that, I had to start taking better care of myself, mm. you know. But I definitely see you doing, and you're pretty busy right now with your teaching, right? Uh, so I no longer work at any of the schools. I'm not right. doing anything uh, yeah. with the district. Yeah. with the kids, uh, but I do have quite a few clients, and I've been thinking about uh, taking on some um, leadership roles, so I'm getting ready to actually teach a Firewalk certification oh, wow. um, at the end of October, <coughs> so I just um, launched a new training date uh -huh. for that, so I'm ste ste stepping into a teacher role um, for my second, doing my second training this year. Yeah. Um, for that, to certify people to firewalk and thinking about doing an intensive submersion of shamanic teachings and helping people to really dive deep on like a six month or year long um, dive, but no longer working with the school or with the children anymore, only privately when the parents um, bring them to me to a system. You're going, I'm glad you said that about the teaching because I'm going to tell you, this is why you're going to Oklahoma too because you're going to be learning more about the uh, uh, teaching and different methods and you're going to be teaching them as well. So you're going to be helping each other. Yeah. And you're going to meet a young maiden there. I'm going to be what? You're going to be meeting a young maiden. Oh, okay. Okay. Young maiden. Yeah, she's about maybe uh, five to ten years younger than you. Okay. I realize you're only 24, you know, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm like 16, you know. Actually, right. I'm really nine years old, right. you know, working on 35, right. you know. Right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Aren't we only as old as we want to be? Age is just a number. It's just a number. I have an excellent guest here. If you want a, a copy of her book, <coughs> text us and we'll send you a copy of it. Okay, that okay. would be great. Love okay. that. Okay, excellent. text 785 what? What? It's a, is it the text that you have on your Facebook too? Yeah. yeah. On the post? Okay, yeah. I can yeah. text that. Yeah, do that. And she'll mail it out. And guess what? It's free. Wow, well, look at that. How about that? So and, please oh, read beautiful it. Beautiful way of sharing information. Right. And you, by the way, have you got your book written yet? No, it's not written yet, Norm. Ah, soft procrastinating. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what book I'm going to write first. I mean, I oh. feel like I, I feel like there's a couple different uh, avenues I could take on writing the book or yeah. writing a book. Yeah. And well, man, well, I, I really would like you to write about what you're doing now and how you got into it mm -hmm. and the rewards that you have gotten from it. And I think that will be really, really um, 
because it'll be educational. Okay. Yeah. And the one thing that I like about you is that you you give your spirit guides uh, a lot of uh, the credit for what you do. Yes. In yeah. Other well, words, we're just uh, the the only thing that that's my job is to remove the things that are in the way of me being a hollow bone. Right. That's my right. ownership. And right. My task as yeah. being uh, somebody who helps people to overcome obstacles and things in life is to make sure that I'm not getting in the way of them receiving the profound experience that they're showing up for. And, right. yeah. that, and that's what we know, just talked about, wasn't yeah. it? You know, yeah. I will not, you know, I, I, I'm old, like you, I'm only, what do you call it, a conduit? Or, or a conduit? Yeah, conduit or a tool. We're really vessels from the spirit to help us. Okay? Exactly. Yep. And I'm looking at the, uh, the third week of October that I'll, I'll, I'll Facebook you and let you know when you can come on. That's actually, so the third week of October, I believe, is the week that I have my firewalk training. It's a six-day training. I don't leave. It's, uh, it's very, very... Okay. Well, very we'll intense. get, well, actually, and we'll get together. I mean, you know. in my presence, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you know what? I got a lot of openings in November, too. All right. Great. Okay. Yeah, November sounds wonderful. All right. We can have you and my friend here come on together. That's right. Trevor, what do you say? That would be wonderful. Good. Well, dude, I'm gonna remember this. It's all up to you. You are your own healer, and you are a healer, uh, 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 an appointed tool to heal other people. Always. All right. All right. Like I, I got healed from uh, cancer, and I have to go for a double check on that, so I no longer have it. You know. That's beautiful. Did you? Were you able to discover what the message of that uh, was for oh. you? Was, oh, was that, there a message yeah, that for why sure, it showed up in your life? Yeah, and it sure was. It told me to treat my body better, number one. Number two, yeah. to respect what other people have. And number three, don't carry my cell phone in my shirt pocket. <laughs> no kidding. The radiation from those things is off the charts. Yeah, and number three, I got so much support and love from all the people mm -hmm. that um, that supported me, and I had learned how the closest of family and how important that is, and to believe, and like with you, to believe in ourselves. That is beautiful, right? So yeah. the, I, the 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 beautiful. Uh, pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow, right? Right. So beautiful. Yeah. And you know what? I'm not regretting I had this cancer. I'm not, I have no regrets for it because I, I like what I was born and now I'm dying. But I have no regrets for it because everything happens for a reason. And it's called taking care, taking care of your body and sending out to other people. If I can be just a little hope for other people and belief for other mm -hmm. people that they can overcome their obstacle, mm -hmm. And like with you, Travis, that's uh, their obstacle. We can o help them to overcome their obstacles yeah. and w when, uh, Michelle here. W w okay, now, what is your website? Uh, it's uh, wolfpackhealing.com. Okay, and that, because I, we want to make sure people get to know that too. Because, see, the one thing about Travis is he enjoys what he does, like yeah. you do and like I do, okay? And he really is concerned about that people's health. Have you ever walked on fire? No. No. It would be a good challenge for you. It would be. Yeah. yeah. Where are you oh, located? I there is no more transformative experience you will ever have in your life. It is the greatest avenue if you're ever called or connected to the element of fire. Mm -hmm. It's just truly sensational. You want a good laugh, Travis? <laughs> this, I love laughter. <laughs> this lady comes over with her husband, born again Christians, mm -hmm. telling me that if I walk on cold or if I go through them, that means I'm definitely going to hell. So I said, oh. so I'm being prepared to go to hell. And she said, well, yeah. I said, where's it say that? And I just said, lady, don't waste my time and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> People are afraid of what they don't understand. True, true, they really And a lot are. of times those things that they don't understand are mirrors to things that they don't want to see within themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I hate that mirror sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh, don't, you know. <laughs> One of my very dear friends says to me, and she's in Wyoming now in Coral, she said, do you ever look in the mirror? I go, yeah, I'm pretty handsome. He goes, no, I don't mean that. Look, take a look in the mirror. When she saw, told me what to do, I didn't like myself too much. Mm. And I had to start mm. improving, you know. We can improve our life. See, that's what I mean is that people can have disabilities, but you can also improve with them, you know. Mm -hmm. And like with yours. But when's your next class there, Travis? So the people will know. For what? What kind of class? For the walking on the fire? No, so the session. fire walk, the yeah. training. Yeah. Because uh, I'm going to I'm going to be certifying people to be able to host their own fire walk for yeah. their own groups, their yeah. own people. That training is going to start on the 23rd of October. And it's going to end on the 28th. Isn't that exciting? It is. It's you know this is what I love. I de well, we're going to get you on before you do your training. How's that? Okay. But <laughs> All right, I we can try if we can if we can find a day and a time. Yeah, we uh, will to make it happen. And we sure will. Spirit does anything it wants us to do. <laughs> it yeah. Sure does. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, and give us a call again later, and I'll get home and I'll um, book you in. Okay. Thank you so yep. much, and Michelle, thank you so much for all you're doing. Oh, really appreciate that, yep. getting likewise. the chance to hear some of what you're sharing and all the, the great stuff, and I look thank forward you. to your book. Yeah, thank Good. you. Good. Yeah, bye-bye bye. now. Bye. All right, have a good night, you, guys. Thank you. You yeah. He's been on my show a couple of times. That was nice. And, you know, and, and that the energy that he has. Oh, you can feel it right yeah, through the yeah. speaker he's, phone. He Very was a positive. teacher at one time, you know. Well, he still he enjoyed, is. Yeah. He actually, right? Aren't I we mean, all teachers every day? Yes. You're a psychotherapist. Aren't you a teacher? Yes. You, you, we teach people how to improve themselves. Yeah. You know, when I ever stop learning, then I might as well throw in the towel. When I ever get to the point and say, oh, I know it all. Yeah. I've actually learned Absolutely nothing. <laughs> the truth, I know. Yeah. Your dad said that. Oh, your dad agrees with you. Yeah. Me. He and I would have got along fantastically yes, well. Yes, yes, he would have. <laughs> You're still pretty vulnerable to people. Well, yes, of course. I'm a pretty sensitive being. Right. You've got to top it up. Okay. You've got to top it up. It's okay to say no. Got it. Okay, it's okay to say, and then, oh, I can't do that, and that. But it's okay for you to say, you know what, if you don't want to uh, help yourself with what we're giving to you, you've got, you've got people waiting to come and see We've you. got, yeah, a long line. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's okay to say no. I, 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 yeah, I just, I like to always give people that well, yeah. extra but, benefit you know, of the doubt, yeah. you know. That's why you and I get along, so because I, we yeah. know that. Yeah. <laughs> but you've got to also... <laughs> your, sir, your, your dad says you're a pushover. I can be. Your Absolutely. dad was a pushover. Yes, he was. Yes. Like daughter, like father. Yeah. Right? Your it mother was, was stern. She put her, her foot down quite a few times, but it really it was always about the patient, about the work, and about healing. Yeah, yeah. And so. Did your dad like lamb? I keep smelling lamb. Lamb. That, yeah. Loved the lamb. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Have a dinner with lamb in, it, in his memory. I will. Okay, have your mom come. Yes. Okay. That's she lives by herself. Idea. That's a she, she does. Yeah. Okay. He, he, uh, he said, make sure you, you know how to cook the lamb the way I like it. But yes. your mother needs to cook the lamb. She's the better lamb cooker. Okay. It's true. And uh, <laughs> I would have like a family gathering and yeah. have a celebration of his life, you know, mm -hmm. on his birthday or whatever, on the day he crossed over. Because when you cross over, it's a new beginning for your spirit. It is. Okay. Yeah, and just to let you know, he immediately went to the other side. He didn't ponder around or whatever. The man went to work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when he went to, when he went and joined the angels very quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did a lot of good in this world. He scares the heck out of your sons, you know. Because Probably. They, because they don't understand what the spirit is there, you right. know. So <laughs> and he's smiling about it. <coughs> Did you say, who played? Did someone there play the violin? My nephew plays the violin. Okay. violin yeah. Because he's also into music. Yes. You, you, there's talented. a lot of family members that's going to be joining your institute. Mm. A couple of them, though, unfortunately, I don't see them left because they think they're going to be millionaires overnight. 
You know, the, the field of natural medicine is not a big money making no. business. You no. really, and to go back to what you were saying before, you know, I, I really have a team of people who are doing it for the love of doing it. Because yeah. if you're doing it for the love of making money, natural medicine is not your gig. No. It's, it no. really isn't. When no. you don't bill insurance, you know, it's, yeah. it's, uh, well, and that's the way I look at it too. When yeah. you, when I look at these different uh, things, like I do, and it took me a lot of years. And like with you, sure. Even though you worked with your dad, it's, sure. you're still training, you're still learning yes. something new, and you're teaching. And I actually see you all opening up like a mini school. Mm. Where I you, would love that. You know, I would you're love to be continue doing the work. Yeah, and you're going to be teaching other people what you know. Yeah. Okay, and I think that's a good thing. I, I agree, yes. There's certainly a, a psychological piece to uh, the blood type, not just with nutrition. Right. right. I also got to give you credit. When you get depressed, you can get depressed. Well, yeah, but you don't has their allow, moments. Yeah, but you don't allow it to overcome you. Well, no, who's no, got time yeah, for that? Yeah, that's what I say, too. <laughs> you know? When I get on the, I don't know how Scott puts up with me. You know, I get on the road, you know? <laughs> but you don't allow that to control you. Right. And uh, when oh, the clients that come in and they're depressed and they're da da da, you are probably one of the most encouraging people mm. because a lot of the things that you have done, you've been there. Yeah. So that's what helped you. We can learn it all from the books, but the practical work is the best work, on the job work. I okay. agree. I agree. But I think that's with most professions. Yeah. What you leave yeah. school with doesn't necessarily help you as no. much as those years in practice where you become seasoned and learn your own tools and find out what works and what doesn't. Yeah. Well, that's like with me when I got through school and I became a nurse and all that. I learned more on you my own. You became a nurse? Yeah. I didn't know. One of the first male nurses in New Hampshire, honey. Wow. You know? Oh, that's, but that's fascinating. Cool, you know? Huh. When you were a twin. I was. Yeah. Huh. Imagine two of you. No, I'm not. Actually, Double the fabulousness. You should, there you go. <laughs> you should have been a twin. But however, the spirit said no, and that you came Only in enough your room way. for one Michelle. <laughs> right. Had the child been born when you were a twin, and would have had a lot of uh, psychological learning processes mm. and like that, which would have taught yeah. you a lot about that. But you know a lot about depression. You know a lot about helping and caring for others. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. Mm. Okay. You have a great staff. I have a fantastic staff. How many? How oh. many do you have there? So we're nine in total. So we're we're small, um, but you know we really celebrate people's successes. Like that's our that's our staff gossip. Oh, did you hear? So and so came in and they were running up the stairs this time instead of you know limping up the stairs. Or that's we rejoice in that. And. Um, yeah, it's a it's a good team. They're but family. You're, you're going to be getting four more people. Five more I people. probably will be having and to expand. And looking very soon, yeah, and that's yeah. going to be awesome. Yeah, because there again, people are looking for yes. other things besides pills to walk over. Uh, my, I, my son, I think he feels like he's a dr walking drugstore at times. Mm. They get him on this bed, that bed, this bed, that bed. Okay, and he's you know, you know, and I think that even the doctors don't know what to give you. And when wow. they don't know what to give you, that you know, so they, they people are like mm -hmm. they're exper they're, people are uh, drug experimentals. Mm -hmm. You know, they use this drug or that drug and like that COVID thing. They use that. N nobody's you know, everything that we take. That was a nice phone call, wasn't it? That was I don't a lovely know why it's coming phone through, call. But it anyways, but everything that is happening, and they they be, want you to become so dependent on drugs that you can't think for yourself. Mm. And that's the real sad part. Well, but I also think that the public demands it. People yeah. want to feel oh, yeah. better quicker, and yeah. pharmaceuticals can do that yeah. very quickly. Yeah. It's just people don't often think, what are the side effects? How is this hurting my liver and my kidney that I, I'm not having a problem yeah. with yeah. right now? Yeah. Right. I have one part of my, uh, my liver, they told me it was dry. It mm -hmm. was a place, but that's okay. You know what? <clears throat> One of the things I'm also looking at, I don't see you with cancer. No. No. I no. don't see your mother's going to be around for a long time. Forever. She's, she's what, not 80 leaving. something, right? She's, yeah, she's fabulous. How old is she? 
Um, I'm not going to disclose that publicly because I think she'd be a little upset. But she oh. looks fantastic. Okay. She's, I know how old she is. The sam- <laughs> she's the walking sandwich board for the clinic, honestly. Independent, And she sharp, enjoys what she Wonderful, does. yeah. Does she still work at the office? Or? No, she retired when my dad passed. But she knows what's going on. Oh, you better believe it. And if you don't tell her, she'll she find gets, out. She, she would make a good private every eye. Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She would make a good private eye, you know. But I have to tell you, they had an awesome relationship, didn't they? Gosh, what a power couple my parents were. I mean, my father was <laughs> absolutely brilliant, and he was able to take this information and and really revolutionized natural medicine. But if it wasn't for my mom just organizing him and encouraging him and saying, okay, we need to, you know, you need to create a book. People need to know. I don't think it, the, I don't think the work will, would have been as um, famous or as well known if it wasn't for my mom. Well, that's good. I'm an airhead. I'll be the first one to admit it, okay? <laughs> I, I, do, I work on getting, doing readings and helping people. Scott organizes everything for me. But I bet when you're doing readings, yeah. you're the most focused, right? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're 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 in the game, right like there. you yeah. know what's happening. Then yeah. everything else can right. fall apart. Yeah. yeah. I don't even wash dishes. No, yeah. I do wash the dishes. I don't do anything else. Yeah. I'm very spoiled. Wow, you got so. you got a good. Norm. I am. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even pick up. A, I don't even know if I even know how to vacuum. <laughs> no, I can't. But he, you know, uh, he appears to enjoy what he does. You know, and I, I you know. When we look at our partners or our friends or our neighbors, like my son and daughter, and I look around and say, fuck what I've got. Mm. I don't have time. And you're the same way. I don't have time to say, oh, I've got nothing. Or I don't mm. have. I just talk with my ex-wife. We get along better now than when we did when we were married. Fantastic, you know? yeah. You know? Yeah. And we had, and nothing, I still love her, you know, because she gave me my son. Yeah. And I still check on her. She's 10 years older than I am. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm only 35. Yeah. You know. Of course. Well, you're only 29, right? That's right. right. Aren't we only as old as our, as we want to be? Age is only a number. I, I, I think so. I can't picture your mother thinking any other way. Uh, you know, I have seen some uh, very elderly 30-year-olds. Yeah. And I've seen some incredibly youthful 95-year-olds. Right. So, yeah. I had a lady call, Lori, my former co-host, Lori and I. I still love her. She's a peach. But we went our own ways. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had this lady call both of them. And I said, what? She said, oh, I can't do this and I can't do that. I said, how old are you? She said, 55. I said, so why don't you go out and try dancing? Yeah. Go and try and enjoy life Mm -hmm. okay and if you start to enjoy life Mm -hmm. you're gonna feel better but I can't do that Mm. she called the show back three months later said she tried it and I go wow you were right and she enjoyed it yeah yeah and then she met her loved one oh wonderful Mm -hmm. you know and I had I have a lady in fact I gotta get a hold of come back on her she has one of those uh, lonely heart clubs for a dating Mm -hmm. service beautiful lady very up front, she isn't one of those, oh, they, you don't know, meet online, you meet in person okay. type of person, you know. And we all have our own niche in society. Yes. You know, whether it's a tool die maker, whether it's an RN or what we, you and I do, or what, there's always a purpose in our life. Absolutely. You know? And a mechanic, oh my God, mechanics, I think they are, you know, I don't know what I'd do without them. I can't even change a tire. Can right. you change a tire? I can change a tire. You can? Yes. Well, I my dad get my taught hands. me. Oh, you I don't get, get my hands dirty. dirty. <laughs> no. One of my roommates, <laughs> we had, I had a flat tire in Cork, and I had the spare, and then Jack, I could literally call them up, and he came up with another friend of mine and changed a tire. Yeah. Well, you know, you could still learn, Norm. Nah, oh, I don't come drive. On, Norm. Oh, I don't drive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I had to, I'm sure I could, but you know, but I, I kind of like that being spoiled. Yeah. You know, but aren't we all? Your husband spoils you. He does. And you spoil him. I do. Isn't that what it's all about? Yeah, you know? being good to each other. Yeah, and right? that's what it is, you know. And uh, I hate it when I hear all these people that are beating up on each other or, you know, mm. the, the, if you, you know, or they live together because they can't afford to be apart. Mm. Is that money that important that you have to ruin your health? Right. Let's see what this one says. Mm. Transformation. 
Now, you know how I told you I could see you open up a school for teaching? Yes. And I asked you some of your workers. You've had your workers here quite a while. Yes. You know? Long and I term. actually see you know having a, a four classroom building. Mm-hmm. And I actually see in each one of you teaching something. Fantastic. Okay. I think that's great. So uh, expect to me to do a lot of more administration. Work, do more, okay. okay. And expect your mother to come sneaking well, in on I, you. Apparently, I don't say no, Norm. So, no. No. yes, yes, yes. And you yes. need the challenges. Okay. <laughs> if you didn't have challenges like what you're doing right now, you would be very bored. Oh, I would. I cannot picture you in an apron and. Uh, the, I'm not saying you don't do housework, but no, that's not but really. That's not my gig. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could hire somebody. <laughs> and I, I, I'm going to tell you, I would be proud of your sons as you are. They're Thank really you. very good. Thank you. One of them's a little lazy with their homework, but that's okay. They huh. do get it done. It's so was I. Them. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. You know. Now, then they go to school or they go homeschooling? They go to school. Yeah. See, you know what's scary? I, I look out and I see, because I live right near a, a Catholic school. Okay. And I look at these kids, they're all wearing masks outside mm-hmm. playing. It breaks my heart mm. because are they really, they're not breathing healthy as far mm. as I'm concerned. And all I can think of communism. Mm. And that's so hard for me to. So I changed my route walk somewhere else. Right. You know? Yeah. You have a dog? I do. Ready for another one? No. <laughs> this one eats all my toilet paper. Huh? This one eats all my toilet paper. Well, that's paper. okay. Yeah, well. He wants to make sure he's clean. But, <laughs> but you got another one coming. You're oh. going to have a mate. And they're going to be good for each other. Uh, good. Okay. They won't tear your house up. We'll see. More you who's, yell at them. Who's going to walk this dog? You. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. actually, my, you, you walk the dog now, right? Uh, not as much as uh, my husband. Okay. He's the dog. That's his relaxation. Yeah. And walking the dog. Yeah. And that really dog is. loves him. Loves him. Kind yeah. of a snod to you, but that's okay. okay. You know? And you keep looking within yourself, yeah. okay? You're finding out, hey, what I'm doing is right on base. Yeah. Okay? However, I want you to stop comparing yourself with your dad. Okay. Okay? Your dad, you've already had your dad's approval. Yes, that okay. I do know. So you don't need to compare. He doesn't like the, the he doesn't like it when you're comparing. Mm. Well, it's kind of comparing apples to oranges. Right. I mean, so, he was so, such a trailblazer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just the the deliverer of the the information. But you're also a trailblazer. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for thank saying you. that. How many people have the you're the only you know what internationally known? Yes. Okay. That's and amazing. You're the biggest institute in this country in everywhere else I don't think there is another institute like ours anywhere in the world yeah. yes you may be able to find many of the treatments from Switzerland we have or from elsewhere but in terms of the diagnostic work that we do the only place you can do it is at Dadamo Institute and where is that located 44 Bridge Street in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Okay. And you're getting someone from China. I'm looking at... That's yeah, we do have quite a few people. From no, I mean, as a t- uh, own, practitioner. Oh, a new... Oh, okay. Fantastic. Okay. He's going to teach you, like, what do they call it? The yin and the yang or whatever. He's Oriental medicine. Right. Yes. Yeah. I have a doctor that does that. <coughs> that's great, though. Yeah. But he's going to be coming in and he's going to work with you. Fantastic. He's going to be very temperamental. Yeah, most brilliant people are. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Your dad was very temperamental at times. Yeah. 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 See, how come we're so temperamental? No, not no. brilliant. But, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I, I think we are, in, in the work that we do, I think we are temperamental because mm. we want things to be done the right way. And I sometimes yeah. have to learn not to be so impatient. Mm. I'm still learning that, you know. Every day is a growth. And I, I think... It's amazing. I turned 60, and that's what, well, I'm a lot older now, but that's what I really realized that, you know what? I got to start doing things because I want to do them. Mm. Not because I have to do them, mm-hmm. but because I want to do them. Mm-hmm. And when we start doing things because we want to do them, like with you, you want to do it. When you first started out, you wanted to say, oh, I got to do this to please my dad. Don't mm-hmm. do that anymore. You've already pleased him. Mm-hmm. And I actually see that your brother who's in marketing mm-hmm. is going to come and help you more. Oh, that would be great. He's really you. And you have a close-knit family. We do. And I want you to know, yeah, I want you to tell him 
that your dad is not disappointed in him. I will. Because okay. I have a feeling he feels like he let his dad down. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, he's oh. your mother's favorite. Is he? I thought I was. It's okay. Well, you know, well you're a girl, but I mean, they're the boys. You know <laughs> what I mean. But she's because she knows. But y your mother also, she was an excellent mother. She's no nonsense. See? Great mom. She is when, a great mom. Yeah, when, yeah, education was very, and is today, very, very important to her. Yes. And you so are going to be. Switzerland. I, yeah. You're I going would to not doubt that. You're also going to Ireland. Got that and one I didn't know, but I do You're going to be teaching know. in England. Okay. Okay. It's going to be like a two-week, you know. Of course. Of course. And mm -hmm. then you're going to be teaching it. And is the money going to be great? Oh, Absolutely. But still, you know, you get one thing about it is that you, what you have, you very worked very hard for, mm. and your husband as well. He also mm -hmm. works very hard. What yes, does he, he do? Yes, he does. He's a software engineer. Okay. Yeah. Are you two in competition with each other? Not at all. Good. He is my right hand man. He really uh, gives me what I need to do this work. He understands the importance that this work has on so many people and how many families rely on it. So I'm so lucky that my husband is incredibly supportive that way. Whatever it needs to get done there, he's on it. Yeah. That's like I've learned when people that, you know, like with a, like when Scott and I be roommates or whatever, and other people have are married, they have their wives or whatever, mm -hmm. usually the husband is very supportive um, what their wives do mm. in most of the places I see, okay? Does that mean there's not unhappiness? Of course there's unhappiness. It's so, Relationships you know. are, can be volatile yeah, at right. times, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it ebbs and flows, but I guess it's what you do in the good times and it's what you do in the not great times yeah. that that connects you and bonds you and, and moves you forward or propels the relationship to be stronger. I'm very temperamental at home, you know? How he puts up with it, I don't know, but I guess, you know. <laughs> he, he Actually, he gets a point so away when he gets, you know. But, and it's almost stupidity mm -hmm. when I realize it, you know. So, yeah, there's no such thing as a perfect relationship. Right. Okay. There's no such thing, you know, you, in order to be almost perfect, you have to work very hard at it, like yes. you and your, your husband. Every day we look forward to it, we work hard at it, you mm -hmm. know. Are you the cook in the family? No. Well, I used to be. And then when more time was required at work, my husband stepped up to the plate and started cooking. He enjoys it. He, he, he tells me he doesn't, but I think secret, That's his secretly he does. The you kids like, don't bother him when he's cooking. I bet, no. <laughs> well, when Scott is cooking, I stay right out of the room until right. he you know. <laughs> Well, I, I honestly believe that's his sport. To, uh, you know, yeah. That's his relaxation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you play golf? I don't. I do see you doing it. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm teaching. I'm traveling to all these different countries. Yeah. I'm, my clinic is getting bigger, and I have time for golf? Yep. Okay, then. You and your husband are going to be doing it together. That would be fun. Yeah. You thought we'll do like I did, though. Had too many drinks and run into a telephone. No, I won't be doing that. I actually, I ran into my, my final moment is... Uh, golf cart yeah. somehow the lake got in the way and I couldn't go over the lake I went into the lake the lake got in the way right okay yeah he wouldn't let me take his golf cart again <laughs> don't blame him he had to fish it out <laughs> Gosh. you know I can laugh about the things that I've done in my life and that's what you have to do right. I am not I have no regrets mm -hmm. you know and was it perfect absolutely not but everything like with you, everything we do today is like a learning experience. Yes. If we don't learn, then we're not going to accomplish. That's right. Like when you go to your clinic, you always learn something new. Every day. And we do, okay? And trust me, you're going to be busier than ever because people are getting scared of the natural, or the cost of medication is going out of sight. Yeah, yeah. Okay? You know, if there was ever a time to really focus on prevention, it's now. Now, you have a vitamin store? So we have, we do sell our own uh, supplements. Um, you know, it was interesting earlier when you were talking about the billion dollar industry with pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Vitamins are a very big industry. 
Um, but I always give word to the wise to be very careful. When it comes to vitamins, you get what you pay for. And there's been so many studies done where they've pulled vitamins off the shelves, yeah. thrown them in a lab and found out, oh gee, what's on the label is not what's actually in the vitamin. And there's tons of reports that show that. So if you're going to purchase a vitamin, number one, make sure it's from a reputable place. Um, what we do in our clinic is we have certain standards that <coughs> go above and beyond what's considered the, the basic regulation where, I mean, it's, it's a lot our standards. Yeah. Um, but just common sense, right, before we give it to a, a patient to make sure what's, in the, what's on the label is in the bottle. Um, secondly, the other thing I would caution people is I know people read a lot about certain vitamins. Oh, I read this online, I'm gonna start taking this vitamin because it's, I heard it, does this for my blood pressure or this for inflammation. But the fact is when you start taking vitamins and combining them with others, it kind of changes the property. So you should never kind of, as my father would say, promiscuously self-prescribe vitamins. If you're gonna do it, you wouldn't promiscuously prescribe yourself a cardiac medicine. You wouldn't go to, you know, get a antibiotic just because you would go and see a professional. Same thing with vitamins. If you're interested in taking vitamins, please, please, please see someone who knows what they're talking about and can guide you so you don't hurt yourself. The idea that natural vitamins can, can't hurt you because it's natural? <coughs> no, that, that's not true. They, they can um, in certain quantities. And of course, also when you start combining them with certain medications, they can have an interaction with each other. Yeah, I had that mistake. You did? Yes, I did. What happened? Well, I went into, I had that mistake and I got a, it went into a panic attack. Yeah. And I, uh, what I had done was I had mixed, like you said, I'd taken like vitamin B12, vitamin yeah. A, you know, all these vitamins. Sure. And then with my diabetic pill, and I went into a real, real adverse effect. Wow. Okay, I became That's very scary. toxic and very angry. And, yes. Yeah. So now I have a new pill, but I, well, now we, t I do take B12. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh. But I also, t then it was overtaking the iron pill. Mm -hmm. People, you don't need to take iron pills every day. Oh, I didn't think because of the mineral parts of it. Okay. Do I tell you not, I will never tell you not to take a vitamin. Sure. But like you said, check out the. Really know what you're taking. Yeah. Yeah, so many, um, I love it when you, all these people, they, they go online or they all make, automatically sign up to become a, vitamin sales rep or whatever right oh and take all this and i told one lady i said the vitamins that you were selling you know scam mm. she said how dare you yeah i, I bet said, she was insulted check it out she wouldn't check it out yeah and she found out because a lot of them they're all out you know you know and the vitamin, like you said, it's a big industry. It's a very big industry. And you and don't they, know what is real and not real. Right. And I feel like they take advantage of people primarily because people can buy them at a local drugstore without a prescription, yeah. right? They don't need to do the flashy commercials to, to like uh, the pharmaceuticals do to convince you to go to your doctor and say, hey, prescribe me this because I heard it was good. They just run a couple ads on Facebook or any and, other outlet and... And it's it's sold, yeah, right? You know, and another thing that I, <coughs> you know, there's so many. Uh, they they actually have all this buying and sales. That's what I'm always leery of. But oh, buy one get one free. Buy buy two get two free. What are you why? getting? Why? If that yeah. is not you know, um, to me that's you know why if they're so great. Now, if I wanted to get vitamins, would I have to go to your clinic first? If, yes, you would have Good. to be a patient okay. because, of course, we're taking responsible or responsibility prescribing. So we need to examine you to make sure, yes, you need these supplements because these are the weaknesses we identified. We don't give vitamins just to give them. There's always a purpose behind them. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That is. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I mean, because, I always, you know, you go to market and you say, well, you know, you get to buy I also found that, like, if you go to a dollar store and you buy the bottle of vitamin, then nothing. Right. Again, you get what you pay, you pay for. for. Absolutely. Right. I try to pay good money 
So don't be surprised if I call and make an appointment three months in the day because I know that's what I'm going to have you to do. And November, just no end of November, December, we're now able to take new patients. But yeah, you Isn't call me and let me feeling? know, Norm. Yeah. Isn't that a good feeling knowing that you are booked up ahead? Yes, but it also makes me sad because some people want to get in right away and they can't and they have to wait. But again, it's that, you know, I, I, there's only so many people that can perform this examination. <laughs> right. And it's pretty comprehensive. Like a new patient appointment is three hours. We really get in there and um, make sure that we've covered all our bases and spend the time needed. Now, you haven't come from all over the world, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Is there a hotel that they stay at? or you There have is. Okay. So because we're located right downtown Portsmouth at 44 Bridge Street, we have a lot of hotels within walking distance. Um, we have, well, I don't know if I can name the hotels, sure. but the Marriott and, and, and the Hilton, and they're all within a, a block away. So the people that do travel <coughs> from, let's say, Hong Kong or, 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 well, they're not traveling from Germany right now, but, yeah. or Mexico, yeah. they'll typically spend an entire week at the clinic. So they'll have done their new patient appointment, and from morning to night, they'll do restorative treatment after treatment after treatment. It's what we call an intensive care stay. They'll have lunch at the clinic, uh, oh. yeah, and so it's a very intensive work. But for those that are local that have the benefit of not having to fly in and get a hotel, you could certainly come do a new patient appointment, and if you wanted to do some treatments, certainly book out, you know, once a month or once a week or whatever the doctor had recommended. You know, you know I find interesting that you don't put a lot of pressure on them. No. You're making a choice. No. Yeah. Because once you start putting pressure on, then people, because you, you don't want to scare the people away. It's not my role. My role is to present the information. Yeah. What they choose to do with it, it's like the book. Mm. If I give you the book, please read it. Yeah. That's all. That's yeah. all I ask. And hopes he, that yeah. you get some value, yeah. some health value out of it. He's going to read the one that called, Travis. I know he's going to read your book. I'm, I'm very happy. I actually see you doing a fire walk with him. I think that would be a lot of fun. You and, and your boys, too. Yeah. I, okay. Because <laughs> if they see you, well, actually, if they see mommy doing it or your, and your daddy doing it, yeah. they may not try it, but they'll want to try it. Okay. I'm not sure about your mom, because your uh, mom and I like to old-fashioned that way, you know. Let her keep but, her cooking lamb. She's good at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big lamb eater. No. Well, I went to a nursing, nursing home every Sunday. They would steam Lamb. Steam lamb. Ugh. You know, so every Sunday the patients got mm -hmm. it, you know. Mm -hmm. so, and if you were stacked, you you had to pay for it. So we're on cheap. I ate it anyway. You ate it right, you know. sure. <laughs> but uh, one thing that, and diet, how important is a diet? It's very important. So uh, vitamins and minerals can help strengthen weakened organs. The diet can... Uh, and when I say diet, I don't mean necessarily for weight loss. No. So a menu really help. Yeah. Um, can help either uh, not add to not add to problems. Do you know what your blood type is? No. No. I think it's AB. Are you? I'm an AB. Yeah. There's not a lot of us around. No. Yeah. No, I, you know, I'm going to check with my doctor and I'll you find should. out. I'll let you know. So if you're an AB, I mean, you can read about it in the book for sure, yeah. um, but ABs in terms of menu is concerned is typically uh, vegetarian and then uh, proteins, not beef, but more like uh, turkey, fish, um, lamb, I know you're not a big fan, a little bit of buffalo, definitely no, no dairy oh. because dairy creates a tremendous amount of mucus. Yeah, and that could be right? dairy, that's why I have it. That's why I was asking you earlier about the the coughing um, and wheat. Wheat can uh, create a lot of acid. Oh. So an acid can a, a lot of times cause inflammation and cause uh, arthritis and all sorts of other, well, other one more issues. wheat bread for me. I love wheat bread too. You know, but I think until I my doctor says make sure you eat wheat, you know, mm -hmm. and all that. And uh, you and I found interesting. I can have ice cream, but I can't have yogurt. Hmm. Frozen yogurt has more sugar in it than ice cream does, mm -hmm. you know. And I mean, once in a while, I'll treat, oh, I'll feel good today, so I'll treat myself to a little bit of ice cream. And then I, don't, like, I bought a half a gallon one day, I end up throwing ninety percent of it away. Yeah. And then I start punishing, and say, "What the hell am I doing?" You know, why? You know, and it's okay. 
and I'm sure I love, when people that are on diets and I help them, mm -hmm. I, I like to tell them every two weeks mm -hmm. go off your diet and mm -hmm. then get right back on and see the difference in your attitude, yeah, you know, and your stuff yes. like that because that way, like, um, when they follow a rigid, rigid diet, a lot of times, and uh, I mean, and they go, they then I lot. challenge them to. That's why I do it. Cause yeah. I tell every two weeks, mm -hmm. you know, like when I first started getting sober. Oh yeah, I would do it next week. But every yeah. third month, I'd always have on the third day of the month, I would go to the bar and have three double drinks. It was like a habit routine. Three double drinks. Yeah. Martinis, wow. you know. But now I think about all the money that I save. Yes. And I think about <laughs> how, how happier your liver is. <laughs> oh yeah. And Scott, and Scott and I were both smokers. We don't smoke anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and I think about the cost of the cigarettes today mm -hmm. and the money, you know, that I save. And, and the health yeah. piece to it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. think about all the the illnesses that now you may have avoided as a result of of breaking those habits. Right. So good for you. Well, one of the, one of the people that were on my show. And he's a reader, really nice mm -hmm. man. He said, I, I put him on the spot. I said, how much longer have I got to live? And he didn't want to, I said, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And he said, you're not going to make it past 83. So I'm getting healthy now, so now I can do it. Mm -hmm. I had another lady tell me that, that the path I was on, I wouldn't make it past 67. Wow. Because all my family never made it. I'm the oldest one surviving, and all my other brothers and sisters have passed. Mm -hmm. But because I changed my way of living, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, well, I'm way past 67. I was 39, you know. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. you know, at heart, you know, I'm 76, but I, I, I don't know how to feel any older or whatever. I feel right. younger, you know. To, that's why I say, like with you and I, age is only a number. Mm -hmm. Well, and there are days when I say, oh, God, I can't do this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to tell you my life is perfect. It's better. And it's going to get better. I'm glad to I'm hear that. I'm like with that, right? You know, if we say our lives are perfect, then we're in for a big, rude awakening. Yes, indeed. Okay? And, uh, but with your children, I'm not going to say that everything that you do as a mom is perfect. I can own that. It That's learning? completely fine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And and all my, it's a learning experience. Yes. Okay. My when I was in my drinking days and my son was younger, it was like he was the parent and I was a child. Mm. Okay. But today we have such a great relationship. We really do. And I have to tell everybody, if you want you can have a relationship with your brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately I didn't but that's okay. Mm -hmm. But um my nieces and nephew contact me a lot, so that's cool. That They're is. in California right here. That is. But if you want, you, no matter how estranged you are from your family, learn to accept and mm -hmm. try your best to make the best of it, okay? And like my, my niece, they put me out of the blue. You know, I mean, no, 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 no. And then finally I said, yeah, that's who I am, you know. Because she and I, I live in California with them. She and I went sit there with the Kleenex and make uh, roses and stuff like that out of it. We had, yeah. I had fun time with them. Yeah. But I didn't fit in. Okay. You know? And that's okay. Yeah. Because I, I don't fit in with a lot of people, nor do I want to. Mm. Okay. And I believe you're the same way. I mm -hmm. don't want to run in there and fit in with everybody. I'm an individual, you're an individual, and we're going to do what we believe is right. Yeah. And long, I always tell people, do I give you the right to do whatever you want to do, but please don't harm others. Mm. If you're going to, like I'll tell a murderer, and I refer, and this is, it's your right to go and kill somebody, but you better be prepared mm. to accept the consequences back. Mm. You know, or if you're going to go rob that store, be prepared to accept the consequences of it. And is that right? It's their free will, mm. you know? And um, I'm a firm believer. I mean, I don't want somebody to do it, but I'm just saying, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna. And the only thing I will say is you don't have any right to hurt children. Mm. And I don't care what anybody says on that, you know? And I was teaching a class one day and I said that one time that when uh, people that hurt children, I'd like to see them come back in the next life and let them know what it's like to have that happen to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, my students, they got in an uproar over that. I said, 
why not? Mm. You know, See, and uh, the I, I I'm actually looking at your building. And it's going to be a three-story building. And it looks like it might have been an apartment house or something like that that you're going to redo over. Okay? That's a two flights of stairs. Okay. okay. And it almost looks like a colonial-type house. Hmm. Okay. And it's not too far from where your institute is now. So I'll have two. Boy, you, let's put it this way. You're going to do a lot of administration work. I guess. <laughs> that's okay if that's what needs to yeah, get done. Yeah. When I don't see you giving up your psychotherapy yeah. practice. Good. You know, Good. When I, and then I do see you hiring actually an administrator. I, I, yeah, I can see that we need to hire more people. I mean, we're bringing in new treatments all the time. Um, I think last time I was on your show, I was talking about molecular hydrogen. Yeah. That has just been a total game changer for the clinic. Um, so now we are expanding to a whole molecular hydro hydrogen treatment line. Now what is that? So molecular hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the universe. So because it's the smallest molecule, it can penetrate cells, the mitochondria, the brain barrier. And you can get molecular hydrogen by inhaling it, by bathing in it, by drinking it and so we have those three technologies and um, the research every day is supporting it more and more oh, need help. No, yeah. um, as to the the benefit of of this amazing new technology the gas has been around forever it's as natural as can be you're partly made of hydrogen I am our gut produces it 75 percent of the universe is created by hydrogen so when we inhale it, drink it, or bathe in it, our body is just, it recognizes it and says, come on in, let's get to work. And it's really been incredibly effective. Amazing. <clears throat> Do you have a lot of, shall we say, overweight clients that come in and they, they think that you're a diet specialist? Um, I think sometimes people call and ask because it's the blood type diet or Dodamo right. diet. Um, the Damo menu, I guess, didn't sound as great <laughs> when they were writing the book. Uh, but yeah, once I get on the phone and sort of explain the program, uh, you can shift very quickly that the weight is just a symptom to something else going on. And that's what we need to find out, what has created this symptom. And people understand that and, and jump okay. on. Next week, I am going to be having Brian Duroso we always got to have Dr. Jody McDonald, but she can't make it. We're going to have her nephew coming on. The following week, 1013, I'm going to have Richard Carter. I think when 1020, I got to double check to make sure he's coming on. Can't get you. And 1027, I have Sarah Boldrow, Moldry from the Intel Manchester to tell what events goes on down in, here in oh, Manchester. Oh, that's great. So that's good too. Yeah. And then I have my friend Eric Boats Hardy. He does a paranormal. Oh, wow. When's that? Uh, 11, 13, 11, 3. 11, 3. Okay. And question mark with Mike Lopez. You know, I'm not sure. But then I got another guy just here. And then my friend, you know, um, you know Liz Santana, she'll be coming on the 17th. Fantastic. Great and, lineup. You know, oh, yeah. I, you know, the thing is, you've got to enjoy what you do. You do. Well, you clearly do. Oh, I absolutely do. And I, yeah. I wouldn't change anything in my life. And I said, oh, if I could do this, I would do it differently. Or if I did that, I would do it differently. Mm. No. I had a vision of what I would look like had I blessed my mother. I love her dearly, even though I don't know her. Yeah. I had a picture of had she lived of what I would be doing. I'd be working in a factory. Mm. And I cannot picture myself working in a factory. I can't picture you working in no, a factory either, no. Norm. I've been ruining my nails. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, one day I had enough and I was going to throw in the towel. They showed me what a room would look like had I done that, and I didn't like that idea. Okay, so do I, I, I we both get tired of what we, you know, tired from what we do, not tired of what well, we're we doing. We put a lot of energy, yeah. heart, it's exhausting. And work. Yeah, me. sure. But I wouldn't change it for the world. Not at all. I also will tell you that your husband either is going to be getting a, uh, uh, a very nice pay raise or oh, he's good. going to another company. 
Wow. Okay. People I'll let like, him know. He, he likes what he does. He does. And he likes the challenges of it. Yes, he does. Yeah. Okay. He was almost like a boy that everybody forgot. Mm. Okay. Was he a nerdy type boy? He probably wouldn't think so, but yes. My <laughs> husband's a little bit of a computer geek. Yeah. But yeah. if you look at the, the, who are the ones that are making the money? It's right? not the judge. I know. I you know? <laughs> When I went to a reunion, a high school reunion, because I wasn't treated very nicely, and I saw one of the football, baseball jobs, I said, oh, have we got a little thin in the hairline? And have we got a little too much bum on behind you? And then I went and I saw the queen of the prom. I said, my goodness, did you eat too many bonbons? And I walked away. Aww. They didn't know who I was. <laughs> I had a blonde wig on. Oh, you know? <laughs> and I walked out the door, you know. But then again, karma has a way. I fell into the pool. My hair turned green, so I had to get out of there, you know. But <laughs> never, folks, never look back at what you did and lived, you know. Mm. Oh, yeah, you can feel sad that you did it, but look at it as a lesson in life. It adds to the experience yeah. and the joy in who you are today. Yeah. I wouldn't change a thing, nor would I want to, Yeah. You no. Know? Marrying a few times, you know, a few relationships, you know, and all that. And uh, then I was cruising one day, and Scott came in, you know, and been together ever since. And he my stole dog. your heart. Yep, my dog, actually, his name was Budweiser. And he's the one that <laughs> found him. Yeah, when I got my dog, he actually, I st kind of stole him from that person. You kind of? Kind of. I offered him a six-pack of beer for him. Oh. 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 <laughs> And we brought the dog home, and the dog uh, knocked the beer off the table and started drinking. I go, no, 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 no. He, we had to show him what water was. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And I had to take him to a vet to have the vet look at him and yeah. sure, you know. Dogs can get the alcoholics too if you're not mm -hmm. careful. Sure. Every animal can. Sure. And he was, uh, and then animals are probably our most, even though we get frustrated with them. You know, they, they are there when you get sick. When I had my surgery, my cat come right in and lay yeah. down beside me. Animals are very compassionate. They, are. they don't ask for anything except toilet paper. I got, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes humans are just not good enough for animals. No, I agree. You know, they're just, they're just such yeah. lovely beings yeah. and yeah. unconditional, I, can unconditionally love you and support you. Yeah. And my dad had a big state Bernard my real dad. Mm -hmm. And I, my dad wasn't always nice to that dog, but that dog mm -hmm. stood right by him. The dog yeah. went from them when my dad met, met him. And then I remember going to see my dad, and the dog was going out, the dog won. Mm -hmm. I got bit, boy, okay. But the dog didn't know me, and he was protecting my dad. Right. You know, I had I had a uh, miniature chihuahua, mm -hmm. and I can remember these two people were quite intoxicated. You're not gonna do a radio unless and all that, my little, Chihuahua, little tail went up like that. She sat and barking. I never saw two overweight people mm -hmm. running down the porch. <laughs> they, and it was just, a little of course, I didn't have a camera, you know, and the right. do all that, you know. But you know, I don't expect everybody to like what you and I do. Mm -hmm. We would like it, but you know, what? I think we have enough confidence in ourselves to do a lot better. Mm. You want to give the people one more time, yeah. Pardon me? You want to do, tell to, people? Uh, to, oh, sure, absolutely. So my name is Dr. Michelle Dadamo. I own the Dadamo Institute for the Advancement of Natural Therapies in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Our telephone number is 603-430-7600. My website is Dadamo, that's D-A-D-A-M-O, institute.com. I hope you get an opportunity to, to take a look. We're a 5,000 square foot alternative medicine facility offering everything from nutrition to uh, therapies uh, and to unique diagnostics to determine the weaknesses that are occurring in your body so we can address them, strengthen them, and hopefully reduce those symptoms you're experiencing. Now, do you do blood tests? We do. So we, of course, we, we want to blood type you. Um, and we have a CLIA-regulated lab for that. Uh, and then we do other blood tests, but we do send those out. Do you also do x-rays? 
We do not do x-rays, no. I think x-rays carry a lot of radiation. I don't think that's good for the body. They, they can, right? They, they can. But most of those things like x-rays, you know, for bones and whatnot, yeah, yeah, orthopedics is kind of not what we do, but um, they would probably go see a, someone I'll specialist tell you what, for that. I don't know how you women put up with mammograms. Uh, <laughs> I had, I had, you I had, had one, one, right? Done. Yeah. Oh, pretty squishy. I'll tell you Kinda what. Tight. Yeah, what? And I'll tell you, I don't. And then you ladies, I feel that if you guys can do it, more power to you. Mm. Boy, I'm, she kept saying I kept going, I can't go anymore than that. But oh, even though it's only like a minute or whatever, she like was internal. It was the longest minute of your life. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> yeah. And then again, when the, the doctor that I had was from India, mm -hmm. and she came in three times into my room for mm -hmm. that to stay overnight. Yeah, she was the most fantastic, and you can see the most beautiful aura. Mm. And then again, you got a lot of gold, and there's some green in there this time. I think. Oh, and you the got aura. Lot, yeah, ah. you got a lot of beautiful aura. Thank you. Thank you. Okay? Thank you for that. And uh, but she was just so tremendous. Mm. Okay, and her. Her people, her staff, they yeah. were awesome. Because I, I don't pitch, she's like you, if you're not going to do the work, don't waste my time. Right. Okay. And you've got, I actually see you getting like five more people. You're going to increase. Mm. Okay. Could use the help. Yep. Okay. But do, do people don't want to work today. Well, not everyone, but they're, you know, it's just finding yeah. the right team members, yeah. right? Yeah. They're out there. Oh, yeah. Like uh, there was a guy who was on Facebook. His company wants to have, a, you know, are hiring people thirty five dollars an hour. So no takers. Wow. Yeah. And I, a lot of times I know another person that they were. I'm not saying where because it's not here or there, but you know, will you join us? We'll give you a two thousand dollar bonus and all that. That's mm. just because you've got to work maybe a certain amount of time to get the one, and another or they'll find excuses why they can't. Right. Well, you that's too earned, bad. You know, and that's deceitful. Yeah. You know. Work ethic is lacking. Yep. Mm. I miss the old days when they used to wear the white ties and the white, I mean, the white shirts and the black ties, or the women would wear the white uniforms. And they, I really miss all that because nursing. it was so professional. Yes. Now they don't. Yes. You know. Now it's gotten very casual. And I'm not saying they're bad nurses, not at no. all. It's just that I'm, I'm from the old school. Right. You know. Yeah. And I'm sure that you're, you're. Your staff dress, dress appropriately. We, yes, I was about to say we are old school in that regard too. Yeah. You have to present yeah. professionally if you want to be taken seriously yeah. as a professional. Right. I went into, went a yeah. friend of mine to this lawyer's office and his secretary had sweatpants and a sweatshirt no. on. I no. Know. And I looked at them and I said, you don't want these people. No. Appearance mm -mm. uh, does make a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. And your, your, your clinic is very attractive. It is. You make it very cheerful. I, I do like to dabble in interior design, Dorm. Okay. Yeah. And you, <laughs> you, you, well, you're going to do a little more in way. Yes. In your lobby. Yes, I agree. Okay. we got to bring in that good energy. Okay. you got to wash the windows. Okay. This is what your dad said. Hire somebody to do I, the windows. Yeah, I, would <laughs> I don't see. I, I cannot picture you in a... Uh, I'll, do it. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, your dad says let it professional. He doesn't I want see. you to fall <laughs> off and get hurt. You know. And your mother is such a delight. She, she re I really enjoyed talking with her. The time went by so quickly. You oh, know. I'll let her know. And she's, she drives too. Yeah. Wow. She does it all. Well, that's Amazing. because she has a lot of encouragement for her children too. And she's a social yeah. butterfly. She is. But, you know, she also, from very early on, took care of herself. Yeah. She lived this program. Yeah. She did the vitamins. She did the treatments. She made that commitment and responsibility <laughs> to invest that time in herself. Right. And now it's paying off. She needs to eat she cherries. I don't it. know what there is in cherries, but there's something about cherries. Huh. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for coming on. It was uh, a blessing. Norm. We're going to get you, you back on. Maybe you fun. and Travis together. Yes. Okay. That'd be great. But I want to thank you for coming on, and we'll look forward to having you come. Once again, real quickly. Dodamo Institute, 603-430-7600. Dodamo Institute for the Advancement of Natural Therapies in Portsmouth. We're a full-service naturopathic clinic. Uh, and would love to uh, receive a call from you 
and talk about uh, potentially becoming a patient or at the very least give me an opportunity to explain all the services uh, that we offer there. Okay. Well, thank you. Next week, folks, I'll see you next week. Remember, every day you are the winner. <laughs>